Caddis Maximus here. This is one of my rare videos of, of some tool truck tools. These are the Mac Tools two piece spring loaded or spring type hose clamp vise kit. That would be for hose clamps similar to this, although these vices really work better with some of the larger ones. They work just fine with these. And on a quick side note, the reason auto manufacturers use these spring clips is more than just the, the fact that they're pretty simple and cheap and easy to deal with for during assembly. It's the fact that they are more reliable. One of the reasons and issues with hose clamps such as this, you know, even nice worm drive hose clamps with a liner or even T-bolt hose clamps, is say on a radiator hose, the hose goes over a uh, uh, neck, the hose clamp goes over that, but as it heats up and then it contracts, as the radiator say heats up, expands and then contracts, these hose clamps are rigid. They don't go anywhere. So what ends up happening is the hose gets slowly crushed each time and then the hose clamp starts getting loose. It's really a big issue. The thing about spring-loaded hose clamps is they're able to expand some when the parts expand and then able to maintain constant tension when they contract. They actually are reliable. And on heavy-duty trucks like on radiator hoses, they use T-bolt hose clamps like this, which are spring-loaded to give you the same effect. These hose clamps are often found in very tight spaces, so that's the idea with these Mac hose clamps. This is the two-piece set. I only paid 20 bucks at a pawn shop. I thought that was a reasonable price. They retail for, I think, around $60, $65 for this two-piece set. They also have a third three-way hose clamp or hose clamp vise that has a real specialized corrugated jaw that really works, I think, even better than this style. But how these work, this style right here has a 10 millimeter hex billet aluminum knob. How they're held together is these are just two pins that are turned down so that each of these plates, which are forged steel plates, go on each end and then there's a little nub. And so the bolt itself is what's holding it together. And then these two pins not only provide stability, but they're providing keeping the spacing this way. So one of these things you might use. So most times you'll use this jaw right here. They do have, if you look, little stops, and those just prevent you from damaging the jaws from over clamping. And really, it's pretty, these things are really just about as simple as you get as you get them onto the hose clamp. And then, say this is now next, down next to an engine, you just put that on there, use a 10 millimeter hex, and then clamp this down quite a bit. And then you attempt to work the hose clamp or the hose with the clamp and the vise all at once, work it off of there. And it actually works pretty well, holds up. You don't have to use a lot of force. The reason they have a hex, you can just do it by hand. But of course, they have a hex so you can use tools with it, extensions, that type of stuff. And so we just have a short one and a long one. They're pretty not they're pretty self-explanatory they do use a set screw to lock the knob onto the threaded shaft so it's not going to fall apart they also have these side clamps just for and i assume these are for the super tiny vacuum hose clamps spring-loaded clamps those are just the little tiny microscopic ones so that the little tine can fit right in between there and then they have it's reversed on each side so depending on if the tine is facing this way I mean, you're only going to be able to get the clamp in a certain way. So it may be that this tine is facing up or maybe the tine is facing down. So it's nice that Mac actually thought of that and actually gave you reversed. The only caveats I would say about these is, well, one, they're an okay price because I think the retail on these Lyles that I reviewed a long time ago, Napa sells these also under their own house brand, I think Napa Professional 900 series or something. But these are the Lyle style. And they're just a little bit more compact. You can really see that here. Now, the Mac gives you more versatility because of the wings. But, of course, the wings also make it quite a bit wider. The other thing I was noticing is they don't have any notches in these jaws. And now, these Lyles here have these little notches. And the whole point to that, the notch, is just to try to catch this some part of the hose clamp once you have it screwed down. So that if you're trying to actually slide the spring-loaded hose clamp up the hose or just off the fitting, it makes it less likely that the whole hose vise will slide off the clamp and making you have to repeat the process. Kind of wish Mac would have done that. The other thing is I do like this thumb wheel, but I think they should have just made it a little bit taller and then just had a quarter-inch 
plug just like these Lyles do because I think that's a lot easier to deal with is just to take any quarter inch and just put it right into the clamp rather than having to have a tool find a 10 millimeter socket of course since these are of course 10 millimeters so that you have even more chances to lose that 10 millimeter socket because you're using these in tight and confined areas of the engine bay and uh, inevitably your socket will fall off and then you have to go back to the Mack truck and buy another 10 millimeter socket. I'm just being a little facetious there, but I did like the fact that the Lyles do use just a uh, square drive rather than having a hex drive. And surprisingly enough, even with the Lyle doing that, the knobs are still a little bit more compact than they even are on the Mac. Besides that, Mac tools, even though they are expensive, they really are pretty nice. I mean, this one has a little bit of play in it, but it's not too bad. But the manufacturing quality is, of course, top-notch. This is just all CNC machine, CNC knurled, so the knurling is essentially perfect. The forging on all the, the components of this clamp, you know, they look absolutely perfect. Um, there is no doubt that at least you're getting some nice looking tools nowadays from uh, Mac when you pay their prices. You shouldn't put a ton of torque on these. I was about the last thing because you can see how this one has had just a, some issues there where it's really worn where somebody was clamping something pretty darn stiff. But that is one of the handy things about these is not just for using, the, not just for using them with hose clamps. But there are just certain types of situations where if you just you just need a couple of hooks, something where you're trying to pinch two edges together to get a bolt started or get them close enough to get a bolt started. I've actually found a few situations where just having these, which are essentially a very extremely low profile linear set of pliers. That's where I've used them as, as a set of pliers. That way you can take, you know, a couple of panels or whatever it is that you can just get the edge of and be able to cinch them down and pull them with this little vise and then be able to, you know, get your fastener started. So they do have a little bit more versatility uh, other than strictly using them for hose clamps because that's what they are and that's why they're called hose vices is because they are uh, little tiny vices. Anyway, I think that I've said just about all there is for these little Mac tools. They are, certainly are pretty darn nice. But of course they should be when they're charging 30 or 35 bucks a piece. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.